girls dress like boys. Yeah, that's the idea behind a gender bender day. It was supposed to be for school spirit at Tippet Canoe. That's an elementary and middle school on Milwaukee's south side. Our Myra Sanchez says it didn't really sit well with a lot of parents. This mom, who did not want to be identified, got the flyer from school last week announcing that this Friday would be gender bender day. Boys dress up like girls, girls dress up like boys. I was speechless, actually. She kept her son home from school Friday, as did a few others. He said, well, no, I have to go to school because the principal said we have to dress like a girl. Milwaukee Public School says it's all voluntary. But this mom doesn't want her child to be put into a position of not participating either. They're so young. After the mom complained, the principal changed the name of the day to Switch It Up Day. School board member Terrence Falk told me those creating this controversy are using the kids for political purposes. Falk says, quote, my son-in-law remembers having the same kind of day in Lutheran school in Sheboygan. This is nothing new. I don't think the kids were thinking about sexual orientation. This man says he doesn't want his son to dress as a girl. I think it's just teaching a wrong lesson about uh, gender. You know, if you're a boy, stay a boy. You shouldn't have nothing like that done in school. I do not want to send my kid to school dressed as a girl. As simple as that. He's, he's only seven years old. In the end, we couldn't find many kids who showed up dressed like the opposite sex. Just a couple teachers. And in the end, it was the teachers and other adults in the school who had the switch it up school spirit. And Milwaukee Public School says it's all a day in a line, a series of all week spirit days. This just happened to be Gender Bender Day today. Perhaps another day it was Crazy Hair Day. However, some of the parents here say this is a day that was just inappropriate. Reporting live in Milwaukee, Myra Sanchik, Fox 6 News. All right, thank you very much, Myra.